The following is an ESG on location video. Hi, I'm Bob LaLiberté, Enterprise Strategy Group, and I'm joined by Benny Gill of Nutanix. We're at the Nutanix Next 2018 event, and there's been a lot of announcements this week, but one of the ones we wanted to focus in on today was Beam. And this is the first SaaS product that Nutanix has come out with. And we wanted to spend a few minutes talking with Benny to learn a little bit more about it. So Benny, why don't you tell me and everyone else watching mm -hmm. a little bit more about Beam. Yeah, Beam is our first SaaS offering. We're providing it to all our customers. It's a multi-cloud product. Essentially what it allows you to do is to really look at your cloud expense and you can dig down into details to figure out where is waste. And once you've identified what's your waste, then it allows you to resolve that, remediate that in terms of you know, maybe you're not leveraging some resources like you should have or maybe downsize them. And the whole goal is to make sure that you have governance on cost. That's okay. one thing that Beam provides. The other interesting thing that it provides is uh, a control on security compliance. Okay. So if you look at what Beam does for customers, uh, given that it has visibility across the multiple clouds that you're using, it can look into um, all of the best practices, uh, for example, HIPAA, PCI, and CIS, and so on. And it can guide the customer to say that whether they're compliant or not. And then, again, in the same fashion, provide one-click remediation capabilities. So it's overall a solution for providing governance and cost and security compliance. Yeah, and I assume that's really important right now. I know ESG's own research mm -hmm. talks about the fact that the vast majority of organizations are using the cloud. Matter of fact, the majority are using multi-clouds. It seems very similar to the early days of virtualization when you had this land rush. So everyone rushed to virtualize yeah. without thinking of optimization, et cetera. So they're rushing to the cloud to use it, but now this gives them some visibility to go in and understand exactly how they're using it and are they using it in the most optimized fashion. Not from just a cost perspective, but even yeah. more importantly sometimes yeah. from that security and governance perspective. Yeah, I mean, that's where our customers really lose sleep when using cloud. It's, you know, do you have control over both cost and security? You know, and, and that's what Beam provides to all our customers and looking forward in the direction where Nutanix wants to take our customers, we want Absolutely. to take our customers into a multi-cloud world with the comfort of governance and security. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. From a high level, so obviously the organizations are able to get back some cost savings and things like that. Are there any examples that stand out in your mind of, of the value that organizations have got by leveraging Beam? Oh yeah, so Beam uh, goes into great detail in terms of understanding the cloud usage as well as um, expenditure. Okay. For example, um, if you are using some workload in the cloud and that's actually a predictable workload, what Beam will do is observe that over a period of time and recommend that, hey, instead of paying hourly, you're better off reserving the instance for a longer period of time and thereby slashing the cost dramatically. Uh, th those are some of the things that it does. It can also look at the, uh, how your application has been behaving and sometimes there's a better instance type in AWS okay. that will fit your application and lower your cost again. Um, and this is done um, you know, uh, periodically uh, as your applications are coming and going. So it's a really uh, agile way of handling the cost. Okay. And also some, sometimes customers want to see what the cost is going to look like. So it also so does predictive, predictive. analysis. Okay. So this is your cost on the you know, first week of the month, but this is how your entire month is going to look like based on what I'm predicting. And you can be a step ahead instead of being surprised by a large bill in the end and optimize uh, before it's too late. Excellent, excellent. So really helping organizations get a better handle on what's happening in the public cloud. Maybe let's talk a few minutes about how that fits with Nutanix mm -hmm. and the enterprise cloud that Nutanix is building out right. and how this product will interact, integrate with the Nutanix right. offerings. Right. So today, you know, enterprise cloud is not just about the private cloud. Right. Enterprises, when they talk about cloud, it's the private cloud, it's the public cloud, a hybrid cloud, and actually a dispersed cloud going forward. Mm -hmm. So what Beam does is provides the capability where it will be able to monitor and manage from a cost and security perspective 
across all the cloud and different types that your enterprise needs. And that is very important uh, going forward. Right. Um, in that process, it's going to create essentially a, you know, a, a centralized CMDB, if you will, okay. for the entire enterprise. That gives you a foundation on which a lot more capabilities can be built in the future. Excellent, excellent, that sounds great. And then I think lastly, while we wrap up, um, any words or discussion on where you see Bean going in the future? Yeah, as I was saying, you know, once you have a good understanding of what resources are running where in the cloud or on premises, Beam is going to allow you to decide when is the right time to move from one place to the other. As Nutanix is building these native capabilities of migration and we talked about app mobility and so on, right. there needs to be a decision engine that is attached to it. And that is what will really commoditize the clouds going forward and eventually make the clouds invisible. Awesome, that sounds great. So really taking and putting in the putting the intelligence in the hands of the users, the organizations, the enterprises to make clear decisions on where they want to host their workloads and applications as optimized for cost and for yeah. security. Right. And just make uh, the migration seamless and also with control. Okay. And uh, you know that's the that's what our customers have been asking us to do. Excellent. That sounds great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.